Morning, the average cyclist here. So I finally got out nice and early for once. It's a pretty chilly, pretty chilly morning. I could have done with a cap to be on, to be honest. But I um, don't know if you can see here, the hot air balloons are out over Bath and Bristol today. And I've just come along the Bristol bike path to give my legs a little warm up. I've had almost a week off since I've been in Cornwall. I've done something to my back, so something silly wasn't quite quite right to to be out on the bike. But I thought I'd do a little bit of a more in-depth review now I've had opportunity to put a couple hundred kilometers on the bike. So here we go. So I think the first thing to probably say is I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this. Um, I was pretty apprehensive spending quite so much money on a bike. I did get a fairly good deal because you get it if you get it through cycle to work if you're lucky enough to um to do uh, to do that through your company then uh, i saved just over half because i've got student uh, student loan as well but if you're a high rate taxpayer uh you save the ni and tax and if you're lower lower rate obviously you just save the the 20 percent basic but whatever you you get a you get a stunning deal main thing for me that i've noticed is the comfort i've never ridden on 28 so these are 28s and they're also slightly more comfortable tires so i've gone for the gp 5000s i've always ridden gator skins and they've been absolutely rock solid but i thought i'd mix it up i'm not going to be riding as much as i used to and the odd puncher isn't going to bother me quite so quite so much really like tan walls and i've been riding these at still at 70 psi so i might experiment a little bit and knock them down a, a little bit to see if I can get that comfort level up even even more. I always was really really sort of focused on performance but I've gone slightly more for comfort on on these and then obviously the big thing is is the the, the DI2. It is just absolutely the mutts. I've not had a single dodgy shift. You press the button uh, and off it goes. When you first start riding and the, 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 the DI2 has gone to sleep uh, it takes a couple of clicks on the shifters to, to wake it up and then that's it it's all connected the wireless wireless shifters connect to the rear mech and it is just absolutely ready to go and then even though this has got the standard cranks on it not the compact ones that i'm used to with the great big cassette at the back it's plenty plenty of good gear in that gearing even for my unfit fat ass to get up some some hills and in cornwall i went up some absolutely beasts um nothing long just just really 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 steep where you you know you need that bottom gear you've got no option at all uh battery life really really impressed i think it went down it's got it was down to about quarter it was down a quarter so 75 percent left before i went to Cornwall and fully charged it and it will be using more because i've also got it connected to my garmin head unit at the moment so there's a button on the top of the hoods and you see when you press the button it will page through your pages on the on the head unit. Got my trusty GoPro here. I really recommend getting a GoPro. Um, this is really old one, but you can get the smaller smaller ones on Facebook Marketplace now for about sixty or seventy quid, uh, and it's just good to have your ass covered. I had two near misses in Cornwall, one of which I've um, sent into Devon and Cornwall. Uh, police because I'm pretty sure it was maybe maybe not intentional but completely negligent so that's really good and then I've got this little uh, Lysine Lysine saddle bag as well which was about 20 quid and is fucking excellent um, I've got in there two tubes two co2 canisters tire levers multi-tool um, a couple of cable ties um, it just really is really is smashing and it looks really tidy you wouldn't believe all that was in there and then this saddle um i had a physique arione vs the one with the groove in it before which i'd got to relieve a bit of pressure downstairs but this is better it's definitely better it's definitely more comfortable i've not done anything more than two hours so um maybe it's not quite a fair comparison but certainly on the shorter rides i've had well i've just had no problems at all no numbness plenty comfortable and obviously i'm not i'm not as used to riding as i was um the only thing i would say is the the weight of the bike it is pretty 
uh, pretty heavy at the moment with the wheels I've got on there. And I think I could notice that. It's one of those things that's very hard to tell unless you're hopping off one bike to the other. But um, it's uh, it's pretty, it, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't wear a ton, obviously. Um, it's a it's a modern carbon fr frame bike, but it is certainly heavier than my other one, which was, was particularly light. I've done something potentially interesting. I've ordered some cheap Chinese carbon 50 mil rims from aliexpress so there'll be a video coming when they arrive to give them a review uh not sure what to expect with them but it was something like 240 250 quid including delivery and customs so i've given it a punt and we'll see how they we'll see how they go uh and then when i get home today i will be taking off the left arm crank arm left crank arm and sending that off to 4i to get the power meter installed so i'll be using their factory their factory install uh and the reason for that is i think they must be struggling to get hold of the parts from shimano to sell ready-made ready to ride crank arms so uh i haven't been able to get one in the new ultegra 8100 i nearly bought an old one and i was going to have the old style crank on the left and the new one you know, the rest of the, the group is a new one. Uh, and then this week I spied that uh, they've actually put up on the website now uh, the, the factory install option for, for this specific crank. So I'll do a video on that as well. Um, uh, I, I haven't fully looked into it yet. I need to go home and buy it and then get it in the post. But I think it's as simple as buy, pay for it online, take this arm off, post it to them. They glue it on and then they post it back to you. And allegedly they do that in a week. So... That'll be interested to interesting to to see, uh, but overall, I mean, it's an absolute smashing bit of kit. One of my other followers has commented saying how great value it is with the Di2, and sort of what's the point of buying the TCR Advance Pro? Um, you get carbon bars. Uh, I think the frame's slightly better and some carbon wheels, but you know you're almost better off buying this and then buying the wheels of choice rather than the giant the giant ones, which again aren't particularly light, so you could put what you want on. I was going to go for hunts. I might still do that, depending on how these Chinese ones turn out. But I thought I'd get a video out of it anyway. Uh, so, yeah, fairly quick one, but just really chuffed. Weather's starting to pick up and hopefully I'll be able to get a few more videos out uh, and get out riding it a bit more. So happy riding and please like and subscribe.